possibly going to select what voices you will listen to at meeting. Not be able to travel through life on borrowed light. The voice you must learn to heed is the voice of the spirit. The spirit's voice is ever present, but it is calm. The adversary tries to smother this voice with a multitude of loud, persistent, persuasive, appealing voices. Murmuring voices that conjure up perceived injustices. Whining voices that abhor challenge and work. Seductive voices offering sensual enticements. Flattering voices that puff us up with pride. Commercial voices that tempt us to spend money for that which is of no worth and our labor for that which cannot satisfy. In your generation, you will be barraged by multitudes of voices telling you how to live, how to gratify your passions, how to have it all. There will be all sorts of software, satellite receivers, and communication networks that will suffocate you with information. You will be bombarded with evil and wickedness like no other generation. As I contemplate this prospect, I am reminded of T.S. Eliot's words. Where is the wisdom we have lost in knowledge? Where is the knowledge we have lost in information? I have suggested a simple solution for selecting the channel which you will attune yourselves to. Listen to and follow the voice of the Spirit. This is an ancient solution, even eternal and may not be popular in a society that is always looking for something new. This solution requires patience in a world that demands instant gratification. This solution is quiet, peaceful, and subtle. This solution requires you to walk by faith in a world governed by sight. Learn to ponder the things of the Spirit and respond to its promptings. Filter out the static generated by Satan. As you become attuned to the Spirit, thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. Hearkening to the voice of the living God will give you peace in this world and eternal life in the world to come. These are the greatest of all the gifts of God.